Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this vlog I'm going to show you how I feed my vegan dogs, what I give them to eat uh, usually on a regular basis. Um, so the ingredients and how I prepare their meals. Uh, yes, I cook for them. Um, if you don't want to cook for them, then uh, you can uh, buy um, vegan, ready-made uh, food. There is dry food, there are also tinned food. Um, so you, you have the choice if you don't want to cook yourself and it's all balanced. I find that uh, there is a very good brand that my dogs love and it works perfect with, uh, with us which is Yara, but uh, there are so many other vegan brands that you can Google and you can try and see what your dog prefer if you don't want to cook. If you instead uh, would like to cook for your dogs um, and um, yeah, you have the time and the passion to do that, then uh, carry on watching and you may get some inspiration and some ideas for what to prepare for your dogs. As rice and pasta are the main ingredients, if possible, buy them organic. I always rinse the rice thoroughly before cooking it. Leaving the rice soaking in water overnight is also very good and allow the rice to release all the chemicals and starch. Then the rice will be easier to digest. For the pasta, instead, once it's cooked, rinse it under warm water to get rid of all the starch. It will be easier for your dog to digest. In this meal, I have added mixed fresh organic spinach leaves. Leafy greens are the richest in nutrients and the spinach are the best to provide calcium and other minerals. Then I add mixed walnuts on top of the dish for protein and omega-3 and 6 fatty acids, very important for your dog health. Mixing the nuts and vegetables make it easier for your dogs to absorb all the nutrients. I always mix a bit more and I store it in the glass jar in the fridge for maximum 2 days. L-carnitine is an essential amino acid important for the well-functioning of your dog brain and nervous system. L-carnitine is present in red vegetables like beetroots, carrots, sweet potatoes, etc. Therefore, I always make sure to cook either sweet potatoes or red lentils or beetroots for their intake of L-carnitine. I usually cook sweet potatoes until they are soft. My girls like to bite into a sweet potatoes. But I do mix beetroots and lentils. Beetroots because it's a very hard um, vegetable. And lentils to avoid gases. And what is left is stored in the fridge for the following day. Another essential ingredient in their meal is grinded walnuts which I prefer to grind on the day to maintain all the nutrients. If you decide to transition to a vegan diet, always do it gradually, incorporating every day a little more of the new food and taking off of the old one. The transition can take longer, depending on your dog age and character. Like people, some adapt well to changes while others may have more difficulties. A vegan diet is ideal for dogs who tend to put on weight because they can eat as much as they want. They will feel more satisfied and they will not put on weight. You can see the big portions of my girls and that's not the only thing they eat all day. They have breakfast, they have these big bowls and they also have more if they want more. Often Laia asks for more pasta or rice, so she will have a second helping. And that's completely fine. She is lean and she doesn't have any weight problem. For breakfast, they have one or two peanut butter sandwiches. But make sure that the peanut butter is organic and 100% peanuts, nothing else added. Some additives, which are frequently found in peanut butter, are poisonous for dogs. 
if I do not have much time to cook or I may run out of red veggies or walnuts or if I fear that their main meal may not be well balanced then in the morning I give them a bowl of Yara dry food for breakfast which will compensate for anything missing in the dinner. I hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog and you have seen how my girls they love their food and they are doing really well so far so um, sometimes I don't have the time to cook because uh, life is busy um, like everyone has a very busy life nowadays and so I do give them some already prepared vegan food uh, I tend to give them dry food so they can crunch on them uh, and they love it uh, because when I usually cook uh, the food is soft they like it as well for a change i like to give them dry food so they can crunch on it and uh, yeah they enjoy that as well so um, maybe to balance it out i hope you get some inspiration um, i hope you enjoy seeing uh, these kind of vlogs let me know what you think um, write your comments down below and um, yeah i'm always happy to read all your comments if you are new to this channel and you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel give me thumbs up if you like the video and uh, i hope to see you in my next one thanks for watching bye bye